Hey, down here. Okay, so uh, this is a door, our door, A R D O U R, the um, multi channel recording app that uh, I've been playing with lately, and uh, it has a nice um, readout, uh, input level readout that on the bottom left there of the screen. That's the one I can, uh, you know, it's got the uh, the zero, you know, all the DB markings in it, and uh, you can go by that. I can go by that. The others just tell you you're getting a signal, really, you know. I mean, it has colors, but uh, color coatings in there, but I need the numbers. So anyway, I have uh, my V amp 2 plugged in there, and uh, I'm going to turn it, I want to unmute, I was muted, so uh, now you can hear probably in the background my uh, voice going to be speaking and uh, the VAMP is um, what I've been making all these desktop videos on about and I haven't showed it so I thought I'd show it and I have my uh, I think it's pretty well where I want to leave it I mean I might turn around and tweak it sounds quite a bit different in the recordings you know so I might tweak it a little bit right now it sounds Pretty reverberative, reverberative, uh, and uh, I. Uh, this is on th the one that I set up for my uh, recording with my mic, and, uh, and I'm using the suggested effect, um, the uh, two preamp, and then of course I want to compress it. It's the whole point on the right there, and there is some reverb effects going on there, but uh, I set this, actually that there's, you know, different room, small room, tiny room, big room, big hall, and one of them was to try to make it sound like a, uh, you know, in a room that's not reverberative, you know, like a set of recording booth or something, something that's not, uh, you know, the sound isn't bouncing around real, and so that's the one I thought sounded the best, and for, you know, narrative type stuff, if you're singing, you know, you might want to look unit you can uh, I got the foot switch you can change and uh, that one's not too loud um, you can kind of you can see a difference uh, but they're pretty close in the uh, input level but you can't hear it and each one has a little bit different sound these are just uh, guitar effects and I just I didn't change this one that's C that's D and uh, of course, they're not meant to be talked through, but uh, you can, you know, if you want to mess around and play. And uh, that one, actually, I did change it to, it was already Echo, and I changed it to 2 preamp and left it on Echo. Uh, but it doesn't have enough uh, gain. Let me get down here. Oh, Got to get situated here. <coughs> okay, so... it's so low I'm just going to turn the gain up all the way I already had the volume and the master up all the way on the unit that's the only way I could get this hot enough signal I'm using the line level input on my computer now not the mic input and that's working out a lot better I'm not having so much trouble with the distortion so uh, yeah that's about the same oh let me look at that it's, yeah it looks awfully hot though Let's turn it back a little bit. I, I would think that would distort. But, uh, okay. I don't know. Let me, let me uh, save it. And this is how you save it. Where's the buttons? When it's, it's blinking, see, when you change things. And if you hold it down for two seconds, it saves it. So now, I'm on the other one. Of course, I got to get up to the mic before it'll work. So it is the one nice thing about the foot switch. I can uh, switch over. Okay, let's see. Now let me look at the. I'll show the uh, input level here. Okay, let's see. Hello, hey, hey. This is yeah, okay. So now yeah, let's see. Yeah, they're about the same now. I still might be a little hotter on this one. I'm not sure that the 
the volume is pretty close to the same now. But I won't sit here and do this on the video. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do is use this. Uh, I was I did it originally with my headset. I have some pretty decent headsets here, headphones. But I guess they're kind of old now. Got them back in the '90s. But these are a flat response. AKG HP 40s. They were 50 bucks back in the day, and back then that was a decent set of headphones that weren't outrageously expensive. I got a guitar center, but they're for mixing the flat response, so you don't get any uh, false bass or mid or trib, trib, trebles, you know, mid high, mids, bass, low, mid, high, so none of it's falsified. You know, these new ones are for listening, and you know, you want whatever you like to hear, but. Uh, when you're trying to mix, you want flat response speakers, which my setup is not. So, um, turn that off now. It's not flat response, so, um, it, you know, I have to keep going back and forth between the headset and my speakers. I mean, you do want to listen to all your mixes on uh, a good uh, kind of... Uh, and kind of what I'm doing is kind of a good way to do it, I guess. Uh, I have a set of uh, Magnavox 10-inch uh, home speakers. I have uh, some uh, 6x9 triaxle car speakers in here. And I have some, uh, oh, probably 4 or 5-inch uh, Jambox speakers. They're all on, uh, well, the, the, it's an Awa Jambox. So I can show that thing right there. All with that Awa Jambox. It was a pretty decent Jambox. I had it for a long time, and it still works good. 50 watt. And then I have two 80 watt car amps that are running my other two speaker sets. So uh, that are being powered by computer power supplies. And they're down here. I mean, this big mess of wires and everything. They're inside of that old computer case. That's an old Dell computer case. So, um, anyway, so that gives me three different types of speakers, but I'm listening. And with them all, each one has their own characteristics and pluses and minuses, but all together, uh, you know, they're not bad. I use, that's what I use for my computer sound and watch TV and everything. So, um, anyway, I just thought I would show the V-amp and, uh, <coughs> Get all my desktop videos about it, you know, if you've never seen one, and I don't believe, if I think they make a V-amp still, Behringer does, but it, I doesn't, I think it's not anything like this anymore, I think they're more like a rack mount or a half mat rack or quarter rack mount device now, but anyway, I kind of like that, it looks like a little guitar too, okay, this is done, bye-bye.